It is Wednesday, April the 1st, first day of April, and the sun's shining, so that is a good thing. Uh, while it is uh, tempting to be spending a lot of time outdoors in this weather, please remember that all parks and parks facilities are closed at this time. You can walk through the park, but always, always remember you no know, gatherings and keeping that social distancing. I did a couple of hours ago just watch the latest update from Prime Minister Trudeau and uh, would share a couple of his comments with you. One is that people kept pushing, the reporters wanted to know, you know, when is this gonna be over? When are we gonna get past this? When are the rules gonna be changed? And his answer was emphatically that that is up to you. That no government can make that decision, that each and every person is responsible for getting us through this. And it's the decisions you make that are going to determine whether we're in this for a very long time or a shorter time. And so I would ask you to make those decisions, particularly with summer coming, I'd ask you to make those decisions very carefully. Sometimes it can be little decisions, just like going to the grocery store only once a week and going to one store. Don't go to eight different stores. Uh, go alone, leave the rest of the family at home, and of course, always follow the rules about washing your hands, keeping your hands away from your face and keeping up with that social distancing. So I'm now going to uh, talk to uh, or introduce you to a very special member of our community. Um, it's, it's hard to believe that it was only March 11th that the Innisfil Community Foundation's Board of Directors came before Council to talk about their launch plan. And of course now things have changed. So to talk about what uh, their plan is going forward, I'd like to introduce you to Sandra Rosardo. Sandra is the chair of the board and she's gonna share about how the Innisfil Community Foundation is responding to the COVID-19 challenge. Welcome, Sandra. Hello everyone. The Innisfil Community Foundation was prepared to open our social solutions grant applications today with the grant announcement to be made at the community event in June. We had to put all those plans on hold until it was once again safe to gather as a community. But we all know that that can be months from now and our community needs help now in this time of crisis. COVID-19 is already impacting our community. Losing a job or taking time off to care for our, our children could be the tipping for, point for many families that are already barely squeezing by. We believe that the local charities servicing our most vulnerable citizens will face an increased demand in the coming weeks and maybe months, which is why we are asking those organizations to help inform us of our next steps. Nobody has a crystal ball, and this situation is unfolding in real time. It's okay not to know exactly what you need, but we hope you will share the challenges your charity on or service club is facing today and suggest what needs may develop in the coming weeks and months. You're on the front lines, helping those who need it most. Please reach out to us at info at innisfilcommunityfoundation.ca so that we can know how best to help. Please stay safe, everybody. Thank you so much, Sandra, and for the other board members. We're so fortunate to have such a caring community, and we have seen people step up in so many ways, and we really do appreciate all the work and effort you've put into the foundation. If you're a charitable organization, please reach out to the Innisfil Community Foundation and let them know what, they, what you need. And remember, these are really difficult days, so please be kind to each other. And if you have something positive to share, something that might make somebody smile or a good deed you did or, or witnessed, or even a good idea that we should follow up on, please go to the Get Involved page. That's Get Involved Innisfil backslash COVID-19 and share your good news stories. Thanks everybody and have a great day.